Is anyone real anymore? Think about it. Coco's journey. I've been gone for about a month now and I've missed you guys more than y'all have missed me. The last two months have been very difficult for me. Business wise and my personal life. I've been debating on whether I was going to continue to make YouTube videos or just give it all up. I've always felt like the less people knew about me, the better off I would be. Now I realize no matter how much positive energy I give out, someone will always find something to say about me. I never said I was perfect, but I always aim to be. I've seen people saying that they were not hating on me, but we all can see the strong animosity. The devil has been working extra hard to compromise my mind, body, and soul. But still, I stand strong-minded, beautiful, and bold. I was going to give up my truck and company and start to lay low. But guess what? God had other plans for me. This is my new drive-in trailer. I thought I wasn't ready to have a trailer of my own at first, but when you have your own trucking company like me, it is very smart and convenient to have. I felt like I was not ready to have a trailer of my own. I was concerned about not having a place to park and being liable for it. I was actually limiting myself without even knowing it. I know what it feels like to start from scratch and I promise I'm not going back to that. Every year, I add an asset to my life because all my life, I've been surrounded by liabilities. As much as we all like instant gratification, in real life, it's not realistic. Everything is a process and I always have to keep that in mind. Business has been running a lot smoother for me. I'm all in and I have no reason to back out. Even though trucking can be unpredictable, and it will probably always be. Now that I have my own trailer, I have more structure in my life. I come to my appointments as early as possible and my backing skills even improve. I guess when it's yours, you care more about it. Some people hear about my story and some people get to see it and want to do the same thing or something similar. I get it, I do, but there are thousands of ways to get to your own goals. Since the new year started, I've been being tested constantly by God and the devil. It's like a blessing and a curse because I use my platform to reach out to people who need to hear what I have to say, but at the same time, I've been being punished for it as well. Life can be crazy at times, and that's why I will continue to stay out the way. Here is some reflective tape I picked up from the truck stop. It costs less than $10 a pack and my trailer desperately needs some new reflective tape now. Now, every day I face new challenges, but I'm not letting it stop me from my goals. But I'm going to be very honest with y'all. Sometimes I don't care about none of this because I know when I die, I can't take none of this with me. We work so hard majority of our lives to have everything we need and want, but we leave it all here when it's all said and done. That's the main reason why I have downsized my lifestyle and the little and simple things matter to me. In life, if we don't pay the price for success, we usually will pay the price for failure and risk is part of the price you will pay for the opportunity. As you all can see, I'm not afraid to show the good and bad sides of having a truck. I put in long hours. Sometimes I only eat once a day. I avoid more accidents than y'all would ever know. I spend at least 22 to 23 hours a day in my truck days at a time, sometimes, and I'm very overprotective about my equipment. Yes, it can be very stressful and exhausting, but... The good days always outweigh the bad days for me. People love to talk crap about women from her hair, how much she weighs, her facial features. And a lot of these people live check to check and barely have a pot to piss in. Let's be real. Women go through hell just like men do. And we really will never get enough credit. 
Instead of being concerned about how I dress and what I like to do with my body, worry about why you're worried about me. I've seen people try to criticize me in public and never reached out to me in private. Not one single person. Fake. And guess what? It be your own people who hate you. They don't want to see you win. We hate each other so bad like we don't deserve to be loved. I'm a cancer myself and I don't even believe in the keeping crabs in the bucket mentality. People don't even know how to lead anymore. Everybody want to be a follower. People so scared to be a leader and I'm a leader. I know I have a lot to lose, but I have way more to gain. Y'all probably thought y'all would have never seen me ever, ever, ever again. And that's because certain people want to silence me, but I don't care about none of that. There will never be another Coco, and that's a fact. And I feel like drama is entertainment for others. When you really focused on yourself, you don't have time to entertain bullcrap. If it's not making me any money or contributing to my peace of mind, I don't care for it. Time is something we take for granted, and it's best to make the best out of the time we have on earth. Amen. And I had to teach myself not to judge or look down upon people who don't like me because the internet has taught me how to move out here on these streets too. Common sense goes a long way nowadays. Use what you got to get what you need and eventually you will get what you want. It's that simple. I'm going to remind y'all in case y'all forgot. Needs come before your wants. When people meet me, they like to ask me, where does my drive come from? It comes from, if I don't work, I won't eat. It's that simple. I love you all so much. And I hope God will allow me to motivate, inspire, and spread love and hope to the entire world. My life has been a crazy type of roller coaster and I've balanced it out as best as I could. I'm an example that you can be down one day and up the next. I want to give a kiss to all the new supporters who have subscribed and have been leaving comments every single day asking me where have I been. Trust and believe I see it all. And like I said earlier, I have missed all of you guys more than you have missed me. Mwah. Mwah. They can't say I'm loud, ghetto, ratchet, ugly, a thought, dumb, somebody's baby mother, or broke. So they come for my attire. Fine. But at this point in society, our ancestors are disappointed in all of us. There is so much issues. I'm talking about real issues going on in this crazy world like world hunger homelessness lack of affordable housing and health care by the way but nobody wants to bring awareness to that right nobody wants to attack the government about how they've been poisoning the community for years and how children become brainwashed before they barely learn how to tie their shoes i said what i said come for me if you want to i ain't nothing to play with I'm letting y'all know right now, y'all never be able to bring the ugly out of me because I'm God made. Okay. I have been working on a t-shirt design for people who want to support and I will be dropping my website link very, very soon on my channel and on my Instagram. Here is my new blower, you guys. I purchased it from Lowe's. It cost me around $130. The max speed for it is 120 miles per hour and it saves me a lot of time now. I did read you guys' comments a few videos back and you all suggested it for me and I'm glad I got it. Thanks you guys. Until next time you guys. Coco's booty.